another week, another preview show as we head for Portman Road, Ipswich. Sam Long helps us get in the mood. Morgan, let's start with Saturday's game. A good performance, just didn't get that rub of the green at the end. Yeah, I think on, a, on another day, we comfortably win that game. Um, Matty's obviously hit the, hit the post twice within the space of 30 seconds. Sykes has hit the bar. And we've had a number of chances as well. And on another day, we, like I said, we win that comfortably, but that's football. Uh, I mean, we've probably been on the receiving end of that before and, and counted ourselves lucky. But we now count ourselves a bit unlucky on from Saturday, but we, it's something that we need to to deal with and, and deal with on Tuesday night. Exactly. Um, we move on to you know three games in quick succession now, a uh, chance to put things right on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't think put things right is the big thing you could say. I think yeah. the performance was there and I think we just need to keep performing like that because if we do, we'll win games. But we know Saturday's going to be a big a big test and we'll need to be on our, our top form to, to go there and win. You obviously missed out at the start of the season. How are you finding things now you're getting those run of games behind you? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot fitter. Um, I'm enjoying it, which is I think is the main thing because if you enjoy it, you play well as well. But um, no, I'm I'm feeling a lot better than than I obviously did in the in the in the games when I first come back, and and that's a good sign. And and I'm just looking to keep playing and, and, and keep improving on my fitness. And I think I'm more or less there or whatever. But um, no, I'm feeling a lot better now. Portman Road on Saturday. Results will tell you in the past. You know they've been very, very close games. I think three 0 nils and one one nil. Um, are you expecting much of the same this time around? I think it will be a, a really close game. I think two two good teams going at it, and hopefully we're the ones that come out on top. We'll we'll be working hard to do that and, and their, see their strengths and weaknesses and see where we can hurt them. But. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm expecting a really close game. They've got a lot of very good players. They've brought in a lot, of, a lot of good players in the summer, and and they've got had some good results previously in the last few weeks. So we know it's going to be a tough, tough game. But um, we're looking to obviously go there and win. Yeah, they're a team I always feel almost matches in almost every position. It, it's going to take a lot to get a result, but you will feel confident with with previous results this season that you can go there and get the result. Yeah, of course. I mean, the way we're playing at the moment is really good. As long as we keep them standards high, I think we'll, we'll, we'll go there with confidence and we'll know that if, if we are on our top form and we are playing well, that we can beat anyone in the league. So I think if we go there with the confidence and we play as well as we know we can, we'll have, we'll have a chance to win the game. And that confidence is important going into a month where you've got Ipswich, Wigan, uh, Rotherham and, and Fleetwood at home as well. It's, it's, it's a big month for Oxford United, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't think you look at any any game in this league and it's an easy game. I think every game throws, throws things up that is, is tough. And I think every every team in the league can beat anyone on their given day. But we, yeah, it's a, it's a, obviously we've got a lot of the, the big big teams this, this month and obviously we know that we're going to need to be playing well and, and, and putting the good performances to be able to get the, the points that we need. And still creating those chances <coughs> to, to, to get, the, get the goals and, and ultimately get, get the three points. Yeah, of course. I think in recent weeks we've been so so good going forward in the sense of the front three, whoever's on the pitch, has created so many chances. And I think they're probably especially Matty, I think, and is probably in the form of his Oxford career. I was set up, he, but just not, not going forward, but off the ball as well. I think he's working a lot harder, I think, and it's, it's showing. I, I was saying to the guys before, the, 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 the goal at um, Burton, the third goal at Burton, where he's chased the lost ball, he had no right to get there, and he's won the penalty and put the game to bed. I think that's a perfect example of of the confidence he's got at the moment and how hard he's working off the board for the team. I think the creating chances is is one part, but doing that as well is is obviously takes the pressure off us at the back. So unlikely to be involved Ipswich, but back from his adventures with the Thailand squad is Ben Davis. How was the experience going away with the Thailand 23 squad? Um, yeah, it was a good experience. Um, we managed to qualify, which is the main thing. Qualify for what? Uh, the AFC Championship. So the next round is in next June. So it's in Uzbekistan. So I'm looking forward to it. 
Are you sure you're looking forward to going to Uzbekistan? It sounds, well, I've never been there, but... Well, it can't be worse than Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, um, I don't want to get into any sort of diplomatic incident, but how, were the, how, how was Mongolia? The facilities? Uh, no, they weren't great. <laughs> to be honest, the, the pitch was old Astro, so it was really hot. Right. It was like playing on concrete and with studs as well, it's quite dangerous. Uh, and as proven, you have yeah, an ankle injury yeah, as a result. I managed right? to pick up an ankle injury in the first game. Um, people have been asking, how serious? Uh, it's not serious, I think I should be back in one or two weeks. So. The whole point of going away with Thailand or to play these games is the experience. So it's an unbelievable experience for you, right? Yeah, yeah it's a great experience. Um, the scenes at the last day when we managed, just managed to qualify when Laos beat um, Mongolia, it was, yeah, it was really something. So, back to the serious stuff, you get back out on the training pitches in a week or two maybe? Yeah, hopefully next week. And then serious stuff starts, trying to get you more appearances for Oxford United. We've gone out of the Papa John's Trophy, you're not going to get in that way, you're going to have to get into the, into the <laughs> league team now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I'll just have to work hard and see what happens. So it's been a busy week for everybody, but delighted to have had Beth Lumsden come in from the women's team and be training around the first team. Here's what she thought of the experience. So Beth, welcome. Um, tell me a little bit about what you've been doing at the Oxford United training ground today. So um, I've come in this morning for a training session. Um, been training with a couple of the guys this morning, so yeah, it's been good. So you've been un under the wing of Carl Robinson, been training with the likes of Marcus McGrain and Luke, Luke Manali, a few first team players. How has that experience been for you? Yeah, it's just uh, obviously it's a lot more, it's, it's a lot quicker and yeah, just getting used to that sort of pace. And But yeah, I've really enjoyed it. It's a lot different, obviously they're a lot taller, um, obviously going to be stronger. So yeah, it's, 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 it was tough getting into it right at the beginning, but then I think as the session went on, it just I just sort of eased myself into it and then yeah. It's good. You going forward, you're going to be training more often uh, around here. Uh, can you explain a little bit about what the plan is for you? Um, the plan is just being in during the day as much as possible, really, getting as much contact time as possible. Um, so, yeah, just coming in during the day, using the gym, training with some of the boys and hopefully just get stronger. There's fantastic backroom staff around the place as well, isn't it? So, you know, you, you're going to be in good hands, aren't you? Yeah, well, they've all made me feel welcome. As soon as I walk through the door, they're all saying hello sort of getting me sorted, showing me around, so yeah, it's been really good this morning. I saw you stick one right in the top corner as well, <laughs> you settled in very quickly, <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's been good, <laughs> I've enjoyed it. The women's side this season have been doing exceptionally well, uh, unbeaten at home in the league, um, how is that going so far? Yeah, we've. I think we've had, obviously, yeah, like you said, we're, we're unbeaten at home, um, unfortunately we have dropped points away from home, but I think we're going strong, we're in a strong run at the minute, so we just got to need to take each game as it comes. 
And now the bit everybody loves, name game. John Massinho likes it so much he started acting as referee. We thought we'd make it a bit tougher than usual for James Henry. James, this is the name game. Everybody on here is either named James or Henry. They can be real people or fictional characters and you've got one minute to name as many as possible and I'll be the adjudicator on this. If you want to pass, just flick to the next one. When you're ready, press down. Moose, you've not seen these, so when they go wrong... Yeah. <laughs> no, next, next. No, that was Dan James. I thought it was all Henrys. James, no, 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 James, James or Henrys? Or James or Henrys? Uh, don't know. Oh. James, James Brown. David James. Yeah. Don't know. That was Henry the Seventh. <laughs> oh, well, Henry the Eighth. No, Henry the <laughs> Third. <laughs> um, James Corden. James Madison. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, Wolverine. James McAvoy. James McAvoy. Who's his good? James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez. No, I can't give him that point. Um, he really looks like a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> no idea who that is. <laughs> is this the band? Yes. Come on, we can get this. They're not called Henry. I'll give you that clue. The Jameses. Duh! James! It's just James! <laughs> there we are, man. How many did he get? How many did he get? Five. Five. Yeah, yeah, five. Well, very good. Five. That's a flag. That's a flag. That's a flag. That's a flag. What's wrong with that? Yeah, there's uh, some bad Henry, the, Henry the third, James the sixth. I thought there was going to be like Lenny Henry, <laughs> no. James Henry. No, 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 no. We prepared him. You could imagine how the James and the Henry. No, no, no. Henry, no, no, no James no, and the giant peach. No, no. Right, I'm chuffed now because Derek Fazakali has joined us. Happy birthday this week, first. Was it last week? It was last week, and I don't need reminding. I think it was last week. At yes. my age, I'm not too sure now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I never thought you'd get that far, so well done. Yes. No, three score years and ten at one time. That was the uh, marker for everybody, but I seem to have achieved that. So, <laughs> um, I've got you on here because we're going to Ipswich. And younger fans won't understand just how good Ipswich were, that golden era that they had with Kevin Beattie and Paul Mariner and, and John Walk, and they were a, a very good team, weren't they? Oh, they were an excellent side. I mean, they were challenging for the championship for three or four years when Bobby Robson was the manager, um, did well in the European competitions, won the FA Cup. Mm. They were, um, for a town team, which Ipswich is, of course, uh, an exceptional side, and like you say, in some outstanding players in the likes of BT and Walk and Paul Mariner. Um, I could do the whole team, Mick Mills. Mick Mills, um, yeah. Yeah, no. and, and to all these players that have played. Well, certainly I've played with one or two of those. <laughs> <laughs> I started my footballing career playing alongside Alan Hunter at, uh, at Blackburn. Um, and Paul Mariner was from the Chorley area and actually should have come to um, Blackburn on trial, but the day that he should have come on trial, he injured his ankle and ended up going down to Plymouth. and yeah. then. From Plymouth, he obviously went on, sadly died this year, but uh, yeah. Yeah, every month I give Faz a copy of Bat Pass magazine, he goes straight to the back. I love Paul Mariner, oh no, another one's gone, another one's gone. Yeah, he was a good player, they, but they were all good players. Since then, obviously gone down to League One, but they stayed a long time in the Championship. They're, they're a really, really good club, aren't they? No, they are a good club, there's no doubt about that, and certainly they've got the potential. Um, to be at least a very good championship club and, 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 and certainly competing at the top of the championship but like a lot of clubs, the likes of Sheffield Wednesday, Barnsley, clubs like that, Ipswich, uh, Blackburn even, over the last few years they fall on hard times, come mm -hmm. down the league and it gives them an opportunity probably to sort of rebuild and, and start again and from that point of view it's uh, you know, they haven't had the greatest start to the season this year, but they seem to be yeah, they picked coming up round a little bit. And, and annoyingly and, picked up four yeah, just as we're going there. There's no doubt about it, there'll be difficult opposition. Yeah. But then we're in a decent form. I mean, you're at a lot of our games, we're in fairly good shape, aren't we, at the minute? Yeah, certainly. You know, I mean, uh, in terms of results, it's good. In terms of performances, it's probably even better in that respect. But uh, these are the games, if you're going to be successful, that obviously you, you, you need to get something out yeah. of, particularly away from home. You know, you don't want to be giving them, not giving them the three points, but presenting the three points to them and, and hopefully at least, you know, take something from the game, uh, come out of it with the point that you've got already and on a good day, certainly, I think um, 
our last performance at Ipswich, I think we ended up winning one day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if we can do the same again, that would be fantastic. Now, yeah, just um, to finish this off, you're sitting there with the recruitment team, Tom, and uh, uh, be giving them your experience and stuff. You have to be in a good position come January, and then it becomes the second half of the season is the key, isn't it? Recruitment in January is going to be the key part of this. Yeah, certainly. I mean, if you're um, one of the teams that are genuinely fighting around the playoff positions, then in terms of recruiting in January, it becomes slightly easier. Mm. Um, obviously, you want to be trying to recruit the best possible players that you can. Um, but the fact that you're in a good position makes Oxford a much more attractive club to come to. But of course, there will be competition from the other teams in in in, in a similar position, and quite possibly Ipswich being one of those. You know, but uh, certainly um, the more successful you are and the better form you're in going into the uh, transfer window around December, January, the easier it is. Uh, so. Um, are we? Are you coming to Ipswich on Saturday? I'm not at Ipswich on Saturday. I'm going to watch one of our. Uh, young up-and-coming uh, superstars. superstars hopefully <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm um, at another game on Saturday and I'm just keeping an eye on one or two players um, but it'll be a good game you know it's um, you know it's uh, a great place to go and play football you know they're still getting decent gates obviously not the size of what they were when they were a, a Premier League team or a Championship team but it'll be a, it'll be a tough game there's no doubt about it. Okay so first won't be there but I will be. If you're coming along you need to be Covid passported or double jab there are restrictions look on the website and it's all ticket you can't get in on Saturday you need to buy it by Friday. See you then.